So welcome to my latest module overview video. I'm going to look at the Tranny module from Annie module, which is a 1 watt class A transistor amplifier and speaker. It has line level inputs to bump signals up to modular levels, two modular signal inputs with a level pot, a line out to drop the level down for sound cards and other gear, a mix output to send clean mixes of the inputs around the modular and a speaker output which cuts out the internal speaker which the mix out and line out don't. The unit can clip and distort really nicely both through the speaker and the speaker out going through the transistor circuitry. So let's get stuck in. So although there's quite a few utilities on the Tranny module, I'm sure the first thing people are thinking of is how does the speaker sound. I've got a sequence running into an IntelliGel Dixit and I'm taking the zigzag output, plugging into the first input on this yellow cable. The mic is omnidirectional in a condenser which gives a good representation of how the unit sounds. Turning up the input gain and the speaker's master gain, notice how we can clip the waveform which had some nice variation in the tone of the wave. Adding a second signal, I've got the triangle wave from the same Dixie oscillator and you can hear the tonal changes again with different levels. Adding in both the zigzag and the triangle, the clipping and distortion becomes more obvious. So there's a mix output on the unit which doesn't cut the speaker out, so I'm going to take the mix out and record that directly through my modular system into my sound card and I'll pan the direct mix out to the right which is nice and clean and then I'm going to turn the speaker up and pan that to the left. So if I come out of the mix output and then come direct out of the speaker output this time, it cuts the speaker off but it does carry all that transistor clipping and distortion unlike the clean mix out. So now I'm going to set up a patch showing how you can mix and match these two signals within the modular. I'm going to take the mix output up into the Borg 2 filter which has got two inputs and then I'm taking the speaker out which cuts the speaker out into the filter's second input. The sequence which is sending pitch to the oscillators is also sending a gate which is being converted down to a short trigger just to ping that Vactral in the Borg 2 filter giving some filter movement and some low pass gate type sounds. So here's just the clean mix out. That's a nice clean mix. Turning up the speaker master output of the Tranny module, you can hear it adding in a lot of that clipping and character to the Borg filter. So there's quite a lot to go at using this as a mixer and tonal shaper. So now I'm going to look at plugging in an iPod into the unit and getting that up to modular levels. I'll first plug that into input 1 which is going to give us some distortion and shaping rather than taking the line input which is clean. Taking the speaker out and recording that Here's the track going directly through the modular setup. So we get that 
nice distortion from the transistor and the speaker out. Taking the mix output gives us a clean, albeit slightly quieter signal, taking the speaker circuitry out of the equation. Going into the line input instead, we've got a really nice clean bump up to modular levels. And we can distort this line input like any other piece of gear by turning the iPod's input up full. Coming out of the speaker, we've still got a nice clean high resolution input device. And swapping to the mix out instead of the speaker out, we do lose a touch of volume but we've still got a nice clean signal. So here I'm going to look at bringing in some soft synths and other sound into the unit. Here I've got a Rhodes loop coming straight out of my computer's sound card and here's how it sounds out of the speaker. It's a nice clean output and here's taking the speaker out through the rest of the setup and recording this directly in. This could be patched just like an oscillator or any other sound source through the whole system for effects and processing. Sticking with using the computer to bring external sounds in, here's a drum and bass loop going into the audio input line in and here's how it sounds through the speaker. And using the speaker out, here's how it sounds directly bumped up to modular levels going straight through the rest of the system. So the final thing I'm going to look at is using this as an interface to bring a guitar directly in. So I'm using the line input, but unfortunately the only guitar I've got to hand is a cheap copy guitar with some rusty old strings. And it sounds a lot like other little cigarette box amps and other similar small speaker devices aimed at guitarists. So here's taking the speaker out, which is then going directly through my setup, which provides a nice clean way of getting the guitar into the rest of the setup. <laughs> So besides the naff tone of some rusty old cheap string guitar, it makes a great input interface. So the Tranny module is a really fun unit, the little speaker is never going to give you a lot of low end or a tone that's going to stop you taking a direct out in most cases, but it does sound great for what it is and it's really useful for checking how things sound. I've often found myself plugging in effects like echoes and spring reverbs to see how they sound and using that as a little cue mixer so I'm not interrupting the patch and my main output but can still check out parts of the patch. The clipping and distortion is really nice and I've found myself using it to fan up oscillators both pre and post filter quite a lot. Adding in the line input and the line output which stops to level down perfectly, it makes for a great utility. And as always, subscribe to this channel for more videos coming soon and if there's anything else you'd like to see from my setup, let me know and leave a comment or a message.